What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another InScape update for you. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about the newest version of InScape. So the new version of InScape just rolled out and I wanted to talk about some of the new features, especially the lighting upgrades that have been included inside of this new version. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this particular update is really exciting um, as it significantly improved the lighting engine inside of the program. There's some other great up updates as well, um, but I wanted to just kind of walk you through a little bit of what's happened with the newest version. So I'm going to be linking to a blog post down below where they go through and they talk about all the all of the new features and settings. I'm going to try to cover these a little bit in the video as well, but um, I will link to this blog post if you want to see everything about that. They've also done a pretty good video here kind of showing you what some of those changes have done. So they've improved their lighting engine so, so that you can get realistic reflections from inside things like mirrors and other things like that. So this is really exciting and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So I've downloaded an example model from the 3D warehouse. This is the Sprouts Center from Taz 1985. So if you want to download this and follow along you definitely can. But the first thing I wanted to do is I just wanted to start up InScape really quick and just take a look at what the result looks like. Um, one of the things that they've really done a great job of is they've really done a great job of improving this lighting engine so that your reflections look a lot better. So like for example if we fly in and take a look at this building um, and we take a look at the reflections as we adjust the uh, as we adjust the sunlight and things like that, you can see how you're getting actual reflections of the clouds in the background in here. So these reflections have really been improved and you're also getting really great sunlight reflections and other things like that. You can see how I've added a map down here to make this concrete look a little bit wet, but we're getting reflections off of this concrete of like trees and other things like that. And you can see how this is going to adjust as we adjust our sunlight and it's all in real time and I think the result looks really good. And so another thing that we're getting off of this now is now we're getting realistic reflections inside of mirrors. So I've added a mirror material on this wall inside of this program and you can see how we're really getting great results. Um, you're actually getting reflections of shadows and models in the background and things like that. Now I will say if you look kind of off in the background, um, it seems to be a little bit limited um, as to, it seems to be a little bit limited as to the distance so I mean obviously here we're not getting reflections of like cars and things like that but we're still getting a really great reflection result and you can see how this actually shows reflections of things in the background and so you also get reflections of your artificial light sources inside of this program. And you can see how when I turn this down, you can see how you're getting great reflections off of this interior glass of the glass behind us as well. So the lighting engine itself has been really improved and your results look really great um, when it comes to the lighting itself. One of the complaints I got a lot about InScape is that the mirrors didn't reflect things. Well, now the mirrors reflect things. So the indirect lighting engine has also been improved so your lighting that gets brought in here from your artificial lights like your spotlights and things like that that has also been improved inside of InScape to give you even better results so the lighting engine has been a really great update there's also a couple other um, upgrades that have gone on kind of behind the scenes so the first and I can't really talk to this too much because I don't use ArchiCAD but they've added an ArchiCAD material editor and so that means you can edit those materials for for InScape inside of ArchiCAD. So I'm sure if you're an ArchiCAD user, you're pretty excited about that. And so the next thing they've added is the ability to save presets. And I really like having this ability because a lot of the time you're going to have a set of presets that you're going to want to use for nighttime. You're going to have another one that you're going to want to use for more of a daytime scene. So like for example, if I have a scene where I set my clouds to kind of a high density and I add maybe a little bit of fog or something like that to make it look kind of like a rainy day. So something like this, I could save this as like a rainy day preset. So by going into my presets and clicking save preset and you can name this rainy cloudy or something like that and then let's say you had another one where things are going to be a little bit more sunny and maybe your fog is off so you don't necessarily have your fog and then you highlight or adjust like your color temperature or something like that and then 
once you get your views kind of set up, you can come in here and you can click on load preset and you can select one of your presets from inside this uh, inside this project. So like for example, I could double click and select this preset and you can see how that gets applied really quickly without me having to come in and mess with a bunch of settings. And so I could do the same thing where I could go into my presets and I could load my sunny day and you can see how that automatically loads your sunny day settings. And you might still have to come in here and tweak this, but just having the ability to save these and kind of create a library of presets is something that can be something that can really save you time in the future. So in addition, you can also manage these presets. So you can also come in here and manage these. So you can right click on them and you can rename them or you can delete them. So you can use this to manage your different presets. You can also save those presets, whoops, to a file. So if you want to save those somewhere other than this project, because right now they're being saved in this project, you can save them to a file and then load them with the load preset function. So one area where I was really glad when Inkscape added in their asset library because it gives you access to some really high quality models. But for a while there, um, they were just working on getting that asset library built up. Well, they're continuing to do that. Um, in this version, they've added over 300 new models to that asset library. And so they've added everything from like accessories. So some kitchen stuff and that kind of thing to bathroom accessories, um, to construction things for your exteriors. So they've added a bunch of different things in here. The one I'm really excited about is they've expanded their furniture category. So their furniture category would create some great results previously but there just weren't a lot of things in it so they've come in here and they've added things like tables and chairs um, footstools things like that to really give you more options in here and I'm sure they'll continue doing this as they move forward but I'm really excited to see kind of where this can go and what this can be because these assets are things that really kind of take your models to the next level they've also added a whole bunch of people models in here which if you're like an architect or something like that I can see where this would be really useful so it really kind of adds life to scenes like this one um, and you can see how they're really detailed and I think they look pretty good I mean they're not like photorealistic but I think they're pretty realistic I, I like that you can add these in here and that you have options like this says to tell a story or things like that so they've also expanded their uh, vegetation library, which is also really good. So the more options you have for vegetation, um, the better. So I'm really excited about that as well. So overall, I really like this update, especially the lighting update. I do want to get in here and mess around with it some more, but I wanted to get a video out just letting you know that these changes have been made and giving you kind of an overview of the way that they work. But leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this new release, what you think about Enscape. I just love having that conversation conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.